Oh, hello my friends. Today is January the 4th, 2019. And in this video, this should be the video foremost for the physicians. Uh, not even for the psychiatrists, psychologists or anything like this. Uh, but for the physicians that know about, uh, that are familiarized with the food poisoning, for the physicians that are familiarized with electromagnetic radiation and possibly some other radiation. I don't know what was used. This is the stuff I will discuss. Uh, therefore, food poisoning, radiation, uh, it's just no, uh, absolutely no doubt that the stuff that I have experienced, I already have mentioned, Carpal tunnel syndrome, I already have mentioned uh, stuff like this, and I want to go in details exactly how this was done. Individual inside of my room uh, is just a hard hitman, a murderer, a killer, really, a hard individual that kills people. Uh, this individual was a police officer in a Soviet Union, I understand, according to him, he spent some time in the jail too. This morning he suggested me that I will not last for too long. He had not seen anything like myself before. I should be just killed and ditched in a, uh, a hall, buried and stuff like that. Which, of course, according to him also is going to happen, that this is going to be the next step. Uh, it's like this. Uh, I will not waste my time on that, on these issues, because they mean nothing to me. I'm just going to put it this way. Uh, the neighbor in Slovenia, Dane Kolenc is his name. This was an individual who was here in 2004, 2005, 2006. Uh, I don't know how much of the Polish language he still remembers here. Uh, he did go, apparently, according to what I was told, through entire procedure, uh, basically political asylum procedure to which I would be due and I was due in the future. Uh, Mr. Kaczynski, I should say Russians hired this individual because this is what Mr. Kaczynski is. Mr. Kaczynski is a preferred Russian option here in Poland. Uh, but, you know, so are others, so I'm not going to go into these issues. Uh, Mr. Kaczynski, Russians, hired this individual, so he was from my country, a neighbor, a few years older than myself, which would be like perfectly suitable when my time would be due to basically see what exactly am I going to go through and the effect that is going to be left on me, like a health effect, uh, how will I cope and, uh, you know, what would be reasonably uh, for me to cope with. Uh, they had physicians, a bunch of physicians, they have other people, they had Borut Pahor, let's say, Slovenian president now, Nobody knew about him back then yet. They had a whole bunch of other people uh, from other countries uh, whom they have evaluated, uh, exposed to this type of circumstances, to radiation. Uh, they were compelled to walk, compete also. It was like a competition type of stuff to Zgirsh. It's about 10 kilometers from here and then back. Uh, what psychological uh, effect would this leave on the people? But the thing I have to say, again, I have to ask him that the only person I understand who went through the whole thing, through the whole program, uh, immigration procedure in Poland, was my neighbor, Dana Kolenz. Others, it would be like on occasional, like Borut Pahor, let's say, uh, he would be in Ljubljana, he had a good job over there, and he would come here occasionally 
to to test some of the you know the stuff I would be in the future exposed to, and I was exposed to. Uh, and the same thing was with others, and they were also used to intensify. You know, they had Americans, and they every, for every one of this stuff they would do to me in the future, they would use them to like intensify, like. They expected for me to go and protest and make like, uh, you know, like in Slovenia we say scena, or like uh, you create like a scene basically, wow, well, you know, protesting or whatever and stuff like that. Uh, get maybe in a physical confrontation and so on with the people and stuff that would be like very much anticipated by the Russians so they could just get me out of the immigration procedure so I would not get through, okay? Uh, Donna Colenz, my neighbor, however, he did go through the whole thing. Um, I see him, uh, I'm sorry, but I have to say that uh, based on what he had done to me in Slovenia, I don't know, maybe was it, uh, it became, probably, probably did became personal to him, uh, probably something that he took personal because of uh, many reasons, because of not only because of what he had gone through. You know, I try to picture myself in his skin. Uh, you are a regular individual, uh, and you fell into a trap with politicians that require you to do the shit like this, whether you like it or not. If you don't do it, you're as good as that. Uh, maybe not. Maybe it's just a really good opportunity. And so if you do it, you're well awarded. If not, you are as good as that. Uh, probably I would say the second one. I don't think they have conditioned him with stuff they have done to me uh, in case he would not cooperate with them. Uh, today this individual has like a little small company, I think, and his son uh, is doing quite well. Uh, they get like a private little contracts. Government assists them indirectly with opportunities and so on. So, um, I don't think that I would land on that. Uh, the second reason, that might have been a primary, the second reason might have been what spiked him uh, in 2017. All through the individual have used heavily on me microwaving uh, what might have spied him to do the stuff like this in 2017 might have been also his health, uh, deteriorated health. Uh, as far as I remember, under MK Ultra, this individual gestured me that he was left with a permanent maybe syndrome, hypertension syndrome. God knows what this is going to leave me with. Uh, that he himself alone is taking pills for some kind of high pressure whatever related stuff because of this that he did suffer the permanent damage and according to the people that i met here in grotniki uh they wouldn't say this to me directly but they did told me that uh, i am also gonna suffer it's also gonna be a health problems in the future i will not be able to overcome no matter what Physicians back then gestured that I would be taking some kind of pills for the, for the, I don't know what this is. Even today, I have no idea. Uh, is this thing going to be a permanent, like a blood pressure issue, like shh, uh, inside of my head? Or is this going to eventually go away? Uh, this is the stuff I will discuss today in this video. It might even go away and it might come back as you get older. I don't know what what how how the health can uh what uh, how much was i exposed what this is gonna with long lasting effects and stuff like that i have no idea today i am gonna discuss how this was done this whole thing uh this is the very important stuff for me to discuss and so what i want to discuss is primary how this thing was done primary task of physicians involved in this stuff uh, was to confuse as much as possible on issues on what's going on. So what they do under MKUltra is they cluster your mind with 
stuff that um, I would say most likely would not even have effect on issues that affect you the most. Uh, but it's used to basically misinterpret to the victim, MK Ultra victim, uh, what one will be facing with. Okay, now I'm talking about, I remember the theories, you know, I remember the theories when they told me in Slovenia, it started like the salt and sugar, how you should not salty, you should not eat sugary and stuff like this. Uh, then they proceeded and they talked about how this is going to explode uh, blood pressure in me and stuff. This shit is logical. And if I would fail, you know, and develop diabetes, these people, the only thing that would happen is I did not. This, the only thing that would happen is they would get excuse. You know, they, would, they could say, oh, you know, he's got a diabetes. It's a normal thing. But that didn't happen. I'm at I am as athletic as possibly I could be. Today I weighed maybe not even 75 kilos, I would say. And a lot of it, it's, it's a muscle. Uh, so none of that stuff happened. Uh, I can go on without the sugar for months if I have to. But if I would fail, of course, it would be a good excuse. They proceeded and they insisted that... They proceeded and they insisted that it would be a soda bicarbona, uh, bicarbonate sodium, sodium. If I would use one uh, as a as a um, as a substance to neutralize my smell, uh, deodorant, therefore. Uh, if I would use that, that it would explode my blood pressure in my head. And along with this shit, they were playing with this uh, microwaving. They were playing with this directed energy weapons. But in my case, uh, the weapons they have used uh, were way more sophisticated. It was a U.S. government involved in this stuff. And it was a U.S. government that gave this kind of stuff to the Ruskis, to the Russians. Before my case, Ruskis did not know about MKUltra and they did not know about directed energy weapons. Uh, people who introduced this kind of garbage to Eastern Europe were Americans through George W. Bush. He was the one, micro cameras, this kind of shit, this is what he introduced into the Eastern Europe. This is, I'm not going to say that this is what we people here in Eastern Europe have uh, to thank him for, uh, to this idiot. Uh, he's got a lot to do with it, and I'm sure they also would figure, sooner than later, they would figure this stuff themselves. They also have worked on all kinds of stuff on, uh, on different electromagnetic platforms, uh, directed energy weapons, probably they were not too far with this stuff. Uh, they were not too far with um, acoustic torture and stuff like this. They did this, Soviets did, did work on this stuff, okay, but they really got a good view of brain mapping and stuff like this. All this shit happened through George W. Bush. And I just happened to be one of the first, no, actually probably the first guy this was introduced on. Okay, um, for the physicians, for the doctors, this is exactly how this thing was done. This is exactly how this thing is done. What is used, what my roommate have used, it would be like a, like a box, like a portable box he would place under the bed I don't know whether he plugged this thing into the uh, outlet over there or not. You can see the outlet alone was burnt up there already once. Uh, why this thing was not changed is because the owner of this place most likely would want uh, avoid liabilities. Who wouldn't? And so what he would do is he would just leave this thing on. This thing has been burned already. 
Uh, if you if you look at that under my bed, uh, where you plug the plastic, the cover into the wall, electricity wall, that thing is still burned. This thing was burned already in 2005. I remember this. What? Why this thing was burned? How? I don't know. What? Uh, the only thing I know is that stuff like this can be used to suggest something was lately happening or whatever. No, it was not. What we are doing right now is rehearsal of MK Ultra. Uh, this is the repetition of MK Ultra. Uh, the only person. Okay, so what happens is when you get, when you get, when you get radiated. Uh, Electromagnetic radiation, what that will do, electromagnetic radiation, what that will do probably is not a secret. What I can tell you from my own experience is that uh, I'm pretty damn sure it will inflate your brain. I think that it does have effect on your brain and that effect on your brain when you get radiated probably strains uh, blood channels, whatever it is, and it probably leaves you for some time, for as long as brain are uh, inflated with this uh, extraordinary sound in your head. This is basically how I see this. I'm pretty damn sure the theory is valid, that it's not, uh, that was something would be wrong with this theory. The second thing I have developed here, and this is done with the timing, the people involved in this stuff are people connected straight to the Varsho straight to the president Duda, straight to... When I'm talking about Duda, Morawiecki, of course I'm talking the, about the people who were hand-picked by Mr. Kaczynski. Yeah, it kind of angers me when I think about these people, really. To be honest, it, it really, really angers me when I think about this. What they do, if we go back to the soda, bicarbona, uh, bicarbonate, sodium, what they do is they also use other kind of stuff. They also use, it would be the same type of weapon, I don't know, but based on something that charges and releases the energy and charges and releases the energy, the effect I have experienced, preliminary prior to coming to Poland in Slovakia something that is even used to knock off people from their feet whatever kind of weapon that is uh, so they would use multiple type of weapons uh, to do this kind of stuff that kind of stuff would leave you with a different kind of symptoms uh, that kind of stuff it would leave you with you would be in a bad shape. You would be, it would leave you for maybe entire day. In addition to what I have just stated right now, uh, it would make you feel like bitten up, like all confused. You would be like scattered. Your mind would be scattered all over the place. And so what they wanted to do is they wanted you to guess. They wanted you to guess, uh, what is being used, and they want you to come up with different wrongful theories, gesturing, all kinds of shit like this that would make you ridiculous in front of physicians, in front of uh, people that in a medical world, so they could really assume that something might be wrong with you. This is a big portion, the biggest part probably of the Russian poisoning. Russian poisoning like this, however, can become acute, permanent, and the result of this kind of poisoning, whether this is, uh, whether this is just permanently developed sound or brain cancer uh, or hypertension issue, whatever you have, very likely is death. Gradual accelerated death is what it is.
Poisoning? Yes, of course it's a poisoning, stuff like this. Milk was suggested as a solution. Why milk was suggested as a solution? I was brainwashed under MK Ultra. how milk is going to save you. Milk, you have to go and you have to buy milk, yogurts, dairy products. Uh, that this sound, this, this stuff in your head is produced because of the, uh, because of the lack of uh, dairy products. So what you would do, they brainwash under the MK Ultra, you would have to go to the store and you would gradually have to sip in your body milk. Not the whole thing. Mr. Andre Duda, who was here, also one of the people who evaluated this shit himself personally, did not evaluate entirely, but he was here enough to see what the hell went on and what's going to go on. Right, Mr. Duda? This shit goes straight into the Varsho. To fortify this type of uh, theory in a victim, the only thing I can say is this for the four, last four months, we did not get a single cup of a single cup of milk, a single dairy product, not a yogurt, not anything like this. I am just explaining this to physicians, what kind of situations, uh, and what kind of situation Polish government have compelled me into, so I would look as stupid as possible for the sake of the Russia. Uh, never mind the racism issues, shit that Ruskis have used under MK Ultra uh, to rape women, uh, basically inciting me in a racism, in a fascism, in a hatred. So they could even rape women, you know, suggesting to their own people, to their own KGB crew who was here, that if the females express interest in me, basically using me like a bait for the for the females and then if the females would express uh, interest in me uh, they would express one according to them because they were just as racist and fascist as i was and it never mind and doesn't matter what the ruskies along with their american partners germans scandinavians what they have expected from me from the beginning uh, Dutch and Germans are actually really grateful for me to have the incited in a racism, in a racist views, uh, so they could get the Russians to cooperate with them. Then the Russians took initiative and, ha and have used this for other purposes. They're using this very same approach today against Ukraine. They are suggesting, uh, in one way, Putin, you can see Putin very concerned for European people in respect to the Muslims, how the Muslims rape here in Europe. Uh, on another, you can see him preaching, you can see Kremlin, you can see RT News, Sputnik, you can see them preaching on how Baltic states, how Ukraine are racist and so on and so forth. You have a, such a double criteria BS that is unbelievable what's going on with the Russia. World should pay special attention to that. I have to accent this kind of stuff. What was used in a second category, physicians, doctors, what was used in a second category in addition to what was regular, you know, regular electromagnetic radiation that I have experienced because of this hitman over there and because of his friends, Putin team, which uh, was hired by the Moscow. The second, uh, uh, the second platform, in addition to radiation that was used, and it was something that would carry on this type of blood pressure effect, was a food poisoning. The food poisoning, for the food poisoning, what was primarily used, it would be a chloride. They would go and they would even inject the fruits, like... Uh, a little uh, uh, tomato vegetable it would be injected 
they would inject that with sure. with a chloride it would be like a bomb you would eat this all of a sudden the head was ready to explode it was ready like to blow your head apart uh, they would do the same thing with a mandarin a mandarin I don't know how to say in English a small like small like an orange but it's not orange it's got a, thi a thin skin and it's a small thing mandarina is here in Europe they say mandarina whatever the third thing what they would do is they would use a food poisoning for the food poisoning this is a bread we would get lately before that it would be like a red packages it would be and this is rated as a white bread but the one we got prior to this was a little bit more white and probably even for consuming standards probably would limit uh it would probably limit allowed and disallowed this shit this stuff would boost uh the pressure a uh, blood pressure in the head uh, as you see there's somebody individual that walks inside at five o'clock in the morning and he would drink water and do the noise with his other tajiki partner uh very disturbed right now about the stuff i'm doing and i'm also gonna have to hurry on a breakfast okay they always have somebody around when whenever i would record sensitive videos by the way this video was not recorded this video deliberately was postponed because I wanted to stay in this place as long as possible and it involves owner of this building who is in bed with the Russians with the Ruskis uh, owner of the building who is in bed with the Germans this individual was helped assisted greatly by the German government this individual um, I already knew who the guy was and so I had one recording audio recording which I have not used deliberately I would not go and release that audio recording uh, the individual this this owners here of this place these people are good people actually uh, but when it's a commercial interest involved and when you consider the Russian side that people got killed here that people disappeared and there was all kinds of stuff raped uh you don't actually have a choice do you i'm not even blaming him for anything but under mk ultra i was told that once i start to talk about this here i am bye bye from this place this would be too much even for the for the owner who actually likes me this guy likes me his lady likes me these are good people uh these people have done some bad stuff i'm not going to talk about because i'm not here to split community I would prefer to put community together not split one uh, but none of that stuff they have done would have happened if it was not a, for the politicians like Donald Trump if it was not for the politicians for this Germans and the Russians uh, the methods they have used to do stuff to the people they have driven here people crazy when you have a people like this walking in your life gesturing you uh endless possibilities of doing the stuff that you should not even think about bad stuff i'm talking about uh when all this kind of stuff uh, enters in your life uh, how much are you really guilty about it and especially when your own president like a kaczynski was he would not even do his damn and duties as a statesman as a president would not protect his own citizens from from the evil these people have faced with here so how much is this guy guilty here this guy is not guilty and his wife they're not guilty shit in the whole thing these are the people i do not i do not uh i do not blame for anything that they would not transfer me uh, to another room that they would not get me a single room well kiss my ass this is not their fault uh the state office here insisted that uh, i should just go uh and uh go after them and stuff like this they insisted on the mk ultra that this is what i should do no these people are not guilty these people have nothing to do with it as a state official employee once you are told uh about this kind of circumstances really is your duty to talk to the owner and make sure ensure that person 
gets a safe place to stay. And it's exactly the opposite that happened here uh, on behalf of people from Varsho, because again, this employee is here that are employed here at this place. These people are against state employees. These are very good people as well. I could not go against them. There's no way I could say anything bad about people here inside of this office. And it might sound crazy, it might sound strange. It is. It is. It is. It is. Uh, look, just for the trip, just for the trip to. Uh, Spasiva. Just for the trip to Warsaw, I had to pay 100 zloty twice. Fact of the matter is, this is not even possible because we get for everything. And what should also include the trip, trips, uh, and these are not invitations. These are requests by the government that you have to appear at a certain location. Uh, what we get is basically 70 zloty, 18 euros per month for the detergent, for the coffee, for everything. And these people <laughs> demanded from me, they give 70 zloty per month and they demanded from me to pay 100 zloty for the trip to the Warsaw. Therefore, they wanted me to go and I did. I went and I borrowed the money from the people from here, from Grotniki so I could appear on their meeting in Warsaw. Uh, they basically would want me to go, uh, they did, uh, pay 30 extra zloty to them. What they pay us, and extra 30 zloty, so I could go and fulfill their requirements. I think this is totally insane. So for me to go, uh, they would not even bother to respond from Warsaw when we would send them my request, uh, the money request, so I could I could have this money for for a traveling. So how the hell am I gonna go and blame these little people that are employed here in this office or this owner of the building or whatever? This is no way. These people are guilty in any way, but. It's a different situation with the people in Warsaw, with Mr. Kaczynski, and that's why I will contact today. Uh, today I will contact really a uh, human rights ombudsman here in Poland. I, I have enough. No matter how much I want to stay here in this place, uh, these people, this people really cross the red line. Today, again, I was radiated again. Uh, in addition to the carpal tunnel syndrome, which I have experienced, uh, today again, uh, after one hour of what should be sleep, I felt rested, and the doctors, physicians can tell you that this is this is a phenomena you experience. It's not written anywhere on the internet. This also is a phenomena, a syndrome that once you re you are radiated, you feel like you are arrested because I don't know what this does to your brain. I have no idea, but it misleads you. You're not rested. You are just, you just get a little like this, and then again, you you are beaten up for the rest of the day. You don't get sleep, uh, and that's about it. But they have not done enough, and so what I would do is I would proceed with the sleep for the night. Today I actually got a pretty good rest. I have compelled myself to just continue to sleep, whatever. And it's interesting, every time this happened, it lasts about an hour, this radiation. Then the only thing you would hear, maybe even half an hour, I don't know. How long do they need to create this kind of effect? The only thing you hear is banging with the doors back and forth. Uh, that's when you wake up then, you can't sleep, and you see your roommates going to sleep. Finally, they go to sleep like a babies. Yeah, I have a Tajik individual, a Russian from Tajikistan and a Russian from uh, Republic of Chechnya, from two Russian republics. This is basically what I have. Ecoli, Ecoli. The food that was used, that was prepared here was already food that was just probably, not probably, but already according to MK Ultra, just prior to expiration. You can imagine what, why I was the only person who would eat inside of the dining room. 
Nobody would eat inside of the dining room. Isn't that effing strange? Who would want to go inside of the little room and eat over there when you have a spacious, huge, I don't know, maybe a hundred meter more square meter big dining room? Definitely bigger than hundred, maybe 120 meter square dining room. Uh, and nobody would want to eat inside. Everybody would go upstairs and eat inside of their rooms. Uh, I, I was the only person who would do this, but I also was the only person who would not know what the F went on, person who failed to understand, uh, you know, to, 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 to recall all the issues from MK Ultra. Now, what happened with the food like this is, if the food like this, if you consume one immediately, you're still somehow okay. All through, you should, and these people did. They would go inside the rooms because they would hit one over, and then they would con someone, and the same thing they would do with the water. Now we are getting to the chloride issue. Okay. Uh, I did not. I would even leave one inside of the room till I realized that they what they do is they're using chloride and all kinds of stuff to boost hypertension, blood pressure. And so I, I would, like it or not, I would be screwed up like this. I would be screwed up with with uh i didn't boil the water that was another phenomena that everybody had this uh water heaters they would boil the water then they would consume that water and the same thing they would do with the with the food and i was the one i stored one in container i ran like crazy to the library this is again kaczynski effect this library was oftentimes closed you were under a lot of pressure uh and so whether you like it or not you are pulled in this in this tunnel of bs the latest poisoning the food poisoning the latest one okay i would develop almost like permanent uh in polish they say uh, uh, basically my my intestines would be would be like agitated extremely agitated and wherever i would go the only thing i would do is excuse me i would fart the gas would keep coming out of me and it would it became completely uncontrollable till the latest food poisoning and it was called a polish package uh, I would get like a little box of peanuts and I would get like two bags of uh, potatoes, chips and uh, a jar of what should be a chocolate. But the jar, uh, I'm going to post that so you can see, uh, was broken all around uh, the seal. So you could not consume one. It was smashed in a such a way that I tried to even eat a little bit and I would get shrubs of glass in my mouth. The only thing I did was I throw the whole thing, I tossed the whole thing away. Uh, well, it's needless to say uh, what happened with uh, a chips, which I think it was old, uh, outdated. I think the food was God knows what was inside in that thing. Uh, the only thing I know is that uh, if one lady, she did appear like an angel over there as I was walking back from Zgirsh back, about 10 kilometer walk here back, you know, it's far. Uh, and in a cold, in a snow, if she wouldn't pick me up, I have no idea if I would even make it back. I don't know what, what could happen. Uh, because that thing... On that thing, what it followed was, the next day was eggs. They would give us plenty, plenty eggs. And that kind of combination, it would mess you up uh, in a, such a way that... Uh, the only thing I can say is that... I'm going to leave this for the part two because I really have to hurry up on a breakfast. Then I'm going to give this in a details for the doctors, for the physicians to understand that stuff i have talked about was more than just real in a Zgersh hospital under mk ultra they brainwashed 
along with Kaczynski, along with other politicians that I would suffer some kind of, you see, they create this kind of theories for you to talk about. So the, the physicians, the doctors, they really think there's something wrong with your mental health. Uh, they suggested on how glands, uh, they would use something to affect glands uh, and that this would create one in a million, two in a million type of disease, something like this, uh, and so on and so forth, this kind of stuff. Okay, this is going to be reserved for the part two. I got to go to the breakfast fest, then I'll come back and finish this thing.